Mission Foundation is Virginia's leading peer-to-peer recovery organization. If you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, let us get you connected. We can help you build a solid foundation through recovery. Here at the McShim Foundation, we are committed to healing families and saving lives. My name is Watcher Nomad. Thank you, John. Um, they asked me to speak on uh, jail programs and I don't need that. Um, recovery housing. I'm a product of both of those. But I'm going to give you a little short, brief story of I use for 42 years. Um, I went to the penitentiary seven different times in those 40 years. Um, I went to jail so many times, they were just like home to me. But on this last time I went to jail in Chesterfield, they had a program called a HOP. Um, so I went to this program and it was the first time that I ever volunteered to get some help for myself. I was at the end of the road and I was tired. My body had shrunk down to 128 pounds and I was bent over and I could not straighten up any longer. I come from a background of um, ways and means. Um, in my neighborhood, ways and means were um, running rapidly through the community. So I picked up and I could not stop on my own. So I went to this program and it challenged me. People were in there um, John came in and said that he had been clean 30 some years. It was like foreign language to me because I didn't know no one who ever was clean. We all used where I was from. So I bought into reading this blue book. I started to identify with who I really am, that I did not want to be that person any longer. So I said, I'm going to do everything in my power to change the thoughts in my brain. So I started putting positive thinking inside of me on a day-to-day -day basis. I tried my best to let go of the negativity. So when you were speaking, I heard you. I understand now what I put in my brain is how I walk my life. So if I'm gonna walk it on a positive way, then I have to put good stuff in me. So I, 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 I fell in love with recovery because it gave me an opportunity to dump my baggage. I had to give it to someone, so I gave it to the community. When people were coming into this recovery program inside of Virginia, they were people from outside that was coming in sharing their experience, strength, and hope. It was, it was like unbelievable that they was coming in there sharing 20, 30 years of clean time and like, it was like, thank you. I could identify. So I stayed in that program nine months. I became a leader of the program and it gave me an opportunity to address before I was released. Now coming to this foundation, I didn't have any money. I was offered a scholarship from my work in there. I came here, I took my scholarship. I stayed 18 months. I was not ready to go back to society. I had nine years of probation to do. I was released in one year by my actions, showing the people change not running from the PO no longer. Going there, asking him, what can he do to help me get off? Oh, that's what I did. I was asked to go to Charlottesville to speak at a probation and parole summit. I went, this was my first time speaking in front of people that was free. No one knew I was on probation. 
No one. I had the same tag they had on probation and parole, something. That's it. I mingled with those people, but my gift was I'm going to shock them today in realizing that any one of you people sitting right there could be set, standing in my shoes because you did not know who I am. So fast forward. I stayed in these recovery houses. I went through some stuff, but I did not leave. I had feelings. Feelings passed. They don't have to stay with you. I had an outlet. I vented them. I gave them away. I shared them. I did whatever I had to do to stay in these houses. I did not want to run no more. So I stayed. When I did venture outside of the, I call it structure, inside house structure, when I was ready to go out there in society, I was ready. I've been out there over a year on my own. See, now this is what I didn't have. I didn't have no crutches to lean on when I got here. All parents gone. Never had a wife. Never had no children. I was by myself. I stood up and took on responsibility. I have three years, one month, 18 days right now of not using. The same way I approach recovery, I carried it out there and I implemented it in life. Yes, I get up early in the morning and I post on the recovery pages positive thoughts, motivational thoughts. Um, I help people. My walk helps people because anyone can change. It's all about do you want to change? How bad do you want to make your situation better? Self-pity, I don't wallow in it. I no longer let my feelings override my thoughts. When I used to be a guy that act on all thoughts, I mean all feelings, right? Now I think it through because I don't want to like walk in incarceration again. So when they let me off probation, right, it was no celebration. It was just more work to do. So I continued my process of change. This foundation gave me all the tools I need to use when I go out back out there in America. I just, what I received, I gave it back. I'm grateful to both of you all. I knew I was a piece of work here because I took on the establishment. But what I did was I continued to grow. If I don't like it, I'm going to say I don't like it. But I can accept my part I play in all situations. So thank you all for allowing me to be here.